All right, hello. My name is Petty Officer Harley, and today I'll be going over um, how to tie a full Windsor knot and how to um, dress formally. I know this is not a Navy lesson, but this is just an everyday lesson that if you've never been taught, I'm more than happy to share what I've learned. So, as you put your shirt and pants on, um, there are two types of shirts you can wear formally. There is French cuff shirts, and there are barrel cuff shirts. And how you tell the difference a French cuff shirt will take cufflinks, a barrel cuff shirt are buttons. So how to install your cufflinks? Your cufflinks look like this and they have a little post that twists. You take the design part on the outside, outside of the cuff, there's always a hole, you poke it through the hole, poke it through the other hole, you go to the other side of the cuff, poke that through the hole, and then you take the post and you open it. So now your, cu your cuff is secure. You always go on the outside to the inside. So poke it through the hole, through the hole. Through the hole. Again, once you have it through, you take it and you open the post and now your cuffs are secure. And that is how you wear a French cuff shirt. The next lesson is how to tie a full Windsor knot. So there's two classic knots. There's full Windsor or half or single Windsor. I only wear formally a full Windsor. So when you grab your tie, you place it around your neck. The, depending on the length of the tie, the shorter portion or the left hand portion should be about seven to eight inches down your chest. The longer portion should hang almost to the floor. When your knot is tied correctly, your tie should stop directly at your belt, the top of your belt. So how you tie a full Windsor knot? You take the larger portion in your right hand and you cross over the shorter portion going right to left. You then take the bulk of that, you wrap it around the left neck loop through the neck hole and pull it out towards the left. You then take that portion, go around the knot over the right neck loop through the neck hole pull that out towards the right now as you can see your knot and I can't see it it should start to shape, take the shape of an upside down triangle you then place these two fingers over the knot you take the larger portion of your tie you wrap it in front of the knot over your two fingers you take the, the larger portion around behind the left neck loop and through the neck hole. You then take that portion and slide it through that loop you just made. As I can't see what I'm doing, you pull it down snug, you dress the knot. This is a lot easier if you can actually see what you're doing. And you pull the shorter portion until the knot comes to your neck and again it should reach to the top of your belt buckle so that is a full Windsor knot you can wear a tie clip if you want now your vest when I dress formally I tend to only wear three-piece suits you can wear a two-piece but if you do wear a three-piece or a two-piece there are button instructions so you put your vest on now when you put your vest on or your suit coat on, French cuffs tend to get snagged, so just exercise a little patience. Now the button instructions. You start at the top, never button the bottom button on your vest or your suit coat. So right about here after this button, I'm going to install my pocket watch. And yes, I wear a pocket watch. The pocket watch chain will have a post. That post, well, I'm gonna put it in this button. Slides through the buttonhole. You then button it over the post. You button the very next button.
but you never button the bottom button. Take your pocket watch, goes in this pocket, the fob just hangs down. Now, last step is your suit coat. Your cuffs will get snagged in your suit coat, so you have to negotiate that as well. Put your jacket on. As you get older, you'll need help. Hey, not bad. So when you put your jacket on, uh, we'll talk about handkerchiefs. I carry two. You carry a cotton, you carry a silk. The cotton is your utility, the silk is only for decoration. If someone is crying or someone's made a mess, you pull out the cotton. I'm right-handed, so I store my cotton on my left jacket pocket. How I dress my silk handkerchief is I grab the middle, I pull it down, I fold it over, and I install it into my breast pocket. Now, when you buy a suit, you'll notice that these pockets are sewn closed. You never open them. Nothing goes into your side pockets. You have inside pockets to carry things, you have your pants pockets. These pockets always remain sewn closed. You button the top button, and again, on a suit or a waistcoat, you never button the bottom button. And then you just grab your cuffs. You can show cuff if you want. Some people prefer, I prefer, Pull them through. Pull them through. And that is it. And this is how I dress myself formally. This is how I tie my tie. I dress my pocket square. Uh, and I install my cufflinks. I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Have a great day.